Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Legacy SMP. Today, we're going to be expanding our llama business and our headquarters. Also, we're going to be furnishing the interior of the headquarters as well, preparing for our meeting with Slice Lime later on this week. And we're going to hopefully get to the bottom of what is going on with the deaths of both Slice Lime's llama as well as Logical Geek Llama that we gifted over to them. Oh, by the way, as you can see, I've done a little bit of decorating. Um, I've done a little bit. We did the interior a bit. We still have more to do today. But I did the walls with a nice terracotta, as well as our bookshelves, a little bit of bookshelf here and a chest to store our goods. And then I also have kind of um, some of the wheat up here so we can store all of our extra wheat to feed the llamas. And yeah, so that's what I've done so far. Anyways, uh, we need to finish kind of upgrading the interior, creating an area that we can meet sliced lime. And then I am prepared to confront him with the evidence that we have found of him killing the two llamas. Um, I mean, you know... Some people might say that they're just llamas, but to me, they're not. And they were gifts, and they didn't even last a day. They didn't even last a day, so, you know. So, for today's episode, we're going to be upgrading our uh, epic llama headquarters. Like I said, getting it prepared. We're also going to be delivering our first set of the llama mail to Poppy and to Pearl. If you guys didn't know, we um, not only are gifting out llamas, but we're also going to be delivering llama mail, which is going to be lots and lots of spam and facts and info about llamas that i'm sure that they're gonna love and appreciate <laughs> oh also our llamas are coming along nicely check it out guys i've been breeding the llamas although they are all um you know from the same family i would love to get some other variations so you know at some point we may bring in some other colored llamas as well and yeah all right we have arrived at poppy's place which by the way have you guys noticed is looking pretty nice she's been doing some really nice upgrades to her base uh, from what I understand, Pearl's giving her a bit of a hand as well. But look at this. I like this little uh, little picnic area. Sit down, have a little rest. <laughs> Imagine like a nice little lemonade uh, lemonade over here. Uh, really, really cool. Doors. <laughs> uh, oh, there's, there is Poppy Llama. We can go and check out how Poppy Llama is doing and then deliver the llama mail. Let's go in here, give it a little bit of a pat. See what's going on. Hello, Poppy Llama. Hello. It's still strapped to the fence post, but that's okay. It's for its own safety, I'm sure. Oh, it's still spitting. Good. A spitting llama is a healthy llama, guys, if you didn't know. Pop-tart llama. Got the magenta cart. And, uh, yeah, it's just chilling here. Look, it has a nice, uh, a nice area of grass to stand on. Uh-oh. Okay, we just won't tell. Okay, it's fine. Look, we have a nice, <laughs> it's got some nice grass to stand on for when it's hungry. Although, Poppy is missing some wheat. So perhaps we'll bring her a bit of a wheat gift as well with her llama mail this week. Because I don't know if she has much wheat over here. So let's go get her mail and wheat and we'll be right back. All right, we're back and we have Poppy's llama mail issue number one. This is the first issue of llama mail. And we also have some hay bales to give her as well. Kind of a free sample. So um, I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what I wrote in here. It's kind of long. It's seven pages, so we're not going to read the whole thing. But basically, Llama Mail's idea is that we're going to be sending out spam, but also interesting facts. Um, so we wrote here, We are so happy you have decided to pursue the path of Llama upkeeping. For our first delivery of Llama Mail, we would like to give you some tips on how to care for your llamas. And I gave her six pages of tips on how to care for llamas. But the most important tip in this book is uh, page number three. Consider whether you would be able to own more than one pet llama. These animals are extremely social and need the company of at least one other llama in order to thrive in their environment. If you're interested in taking another llama, please visit the LOL's headquarters. So we gave away a free llama, but also there should be a second llama. So I don't know if she's going to get her llama from us or if she's going to get it from somebody else, but she definitely needs to give this llama a friend. So we went ahead and we gave her a little bit tip, tip about that. Um, oh, also we should put here at the end of all of this uh please enjoy your free sample of llama wheat llama wheaties times five there we go all right i'm giving her five llama wheaties so we're gonna get one two three four five and then we're gonna deliver the mail so there we go looking pretty nice there i hope she enjoys it though close the mailbox i love that she kept the mailbox maybe Maybe uh, we'll upgrade the mailbox for her at some point. Make it look, you know, it fits the theme. Actually, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks pretty good. There's a nice horse here she's taking care of, too. Um, anyways, so we have delivered our first mail for today. 
And um, I don't really have any mail to deliver to Sliced or Logical at the moment because we still don't know what's going on with that situation. So um, we're going to have to wait and see. And then, like I said, Pearl and Poppy, from what I understand, are sharing are sharing llama mail. Although Pearl did request us to put a mailbox in her base. So we may we may eventually do that and then deliver her additional mail. But, you know, we're also trying to cut down on the workload. So I don't want to be delivering mail to everybody on the server. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's. what do you say we go and check on Pearl's Llama, make sure it's doing well. I know that she put it somewhere safe. Um, I just, I haven't seen it since she moved it, so. Okay, Pearl's base is like guarded with, with hostile monsters. I'd like to point out that this is actually a thing, and it's not the first time, like, trying to get into Pearl's base is, is not an, ow, it's not easy. I already have an arrow right in my arm. It's okay. We're just going to go in here really quick to check the llamas. Then we're determined llama keepers. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a bed. I might I might borrow her bed. Okay, nobody tell Pearl. This is <laughs> Maybe it's her guest bed anyways, but I'm going to have a snooze here. All right, we're taking a snooze. Why does she have netherrack? What is going on, Pearl? All right. So yeah, if you cross this bridge and you come right over here, you can see her front entrance. She actually had this blocked off at first, but now it's open. So we can head in. Oh, uh, there, 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 there. We're going to head in and uh, check out the llama. I'm not going to snoop around. I try not to snoop too much because I intend to break things. But anyway, why is this so noisy in here? Pearl! <laughs> okay, so we have uh, King of Llamas, by the way. Pearl introduced me to the other day. Look at this guy. Isn't he lovely? He's got a couple of chests. It's a level two llama. Level two. We know it's level two because it has two uh, rows of storage containers. That's how you know the level of a llama if you haven't figured that out yet. So like this llama is not tamed. Uh, this llama is level three. And where is Pearlescent Llama? Uh, oh, oh, over here in the corner. Oh, what's up, Pearl? Pearl Llama Moon. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Pearl Llama Moon, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Don't sit on Pearl Lama Moon. I, da danger. Danger. Okay. So, anyways, Pearl Lama Moon is a level 1 Llama, which is very, very nice. So, that's good. But it looks like it's doing well. My only criticism is, Pearl, I don't think that they have any grass to graze on. So, you might want to ask Poppy for some of those Wheaties. Although, you have a lot of Llamas, and I don't see any Wheaties. So, just, just pointing that out. Alright, we're going to head back to our base. So we're just going to run back. There's our llama headquarters. <laughs> it's looking pretty nice. It, it really is. We just have a little bit more to do on the inside. And then it is good to go. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully we catch slime this week. All right. We're back to our base. And creeper. There's a creeper up on the top floor. That's not lit enough. <laughs> Noted. Um, let's, let's not... Creeper? Hello? Look at how hidden it is. Creepers are so sketchy. Or did it despawn? I literally don't know. Oh my gosh. It's right there. Creeper, die! <laughs> Dead. Okay, we'll get some gunpowder. That's nice. We should put some torches up here. At least until I figure out what I'm going to do. Alright. So, that is better. Better. And boink, 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 boink. At least it's torched up now. So what we need to install in here is we need to make a desk. Uh, we also need to put down some carpet so it's a little bit more cozy. And I forgot to tell you guys when I was getting the terracotta for this terracotta, ter terracotta. <laughs> when I was getting the terracotta for the interior of this build, I went to a Badlands biome, and you're never gonna guess what I found. Check it out, guys. I wish I wish I had got it on camera, but I didn't. Oh, where's my inches? Eh. No, oh, I lost my inches. Apparently, I've lost my end chest, <laughs> so we need to go and craft another one. I man, I don't have no I, I have no idea where I put that thing. All right, let's maybe I could just happen to see it. Let's see. Uh, the Nether is now terrifying. Ah, there it is. All right, here is the uh in here. Ah. Uh oh. Rod flesh. Okay. Fine. All we need is a blaze or two. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Back, 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 back. E. The 
we're two up there, so I don't know if he's gonna come. Heck! Oh! Mamichka! Ah! Oh, I'm almost dead! I'm dying! Hang on. Okay, dead, dead, dead. Blaze rod! I'm burning. I need health. Food? Okay, we're okay. The blade's over there. Okay, blaze rod. There's probably a blaze farm somewhere, and I just don't know where it is yet. Oh, look at this. A blaze. Ow, ow, ow. Fire. Hey, he dropped his head. Nice. We got ourselves our first winter head. <laughs> right, anyways, I got three blaze rods. That is more than enough. More than enough to make our inner chest. I am going to head out of here. Are those hay bales? Why the... Why are there hay bales? Okay, I don't understand. Oh, finally. Inner chest. I can finally show you guys what I found. Okay, so anyways, I was in a Badlands biome and below and behold, we have found our first enchanted golden apple. Yay! I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. Either A, I'm going to try to sell it. B, we can hold the contest. Uh, I'm not sure what kind yet. And we can give it away as a reward. Or C, we could just put it in a display case and never ever touch it again. All right, and let's head back to our base. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is uh, I would really like to build a desk inside of here as well as put down some carpet and work on the front door as well. Or that we can have a formal meeting, you know. Uh, it doesn't have a center, so we have to do kind of even number things, which is okay. So here's the desk, right? And then we're going to be on this side of the desk where we're actually going to meet with Sliced. I guess I can take out my axe. <laughs> like this. And then this is where we stand. Whenever we want to meet any clients to the to the LLS. I think that's a really nice spot. It's like the information desk, so to speak. All right. You know what? Let's clean out the inventory. <laughs> ah, that's so much better. <laughs> You know, looking at it from out here, I think red carpet would be the best because it will almost look like the tongue of the llama from the inside. So that's kind of funny as well. Um, if we were to do like, <laughs> let me try to lay this down and see how it's going to look. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's the thing. It's getting dark and we don't have any torches here. So uh, let's go to drop some torches and we got torches. Man, it's so nice to be able to just edit and just like plop torches down. <laughs> All right, it should be a lot safer now. I mean, there's not going to be perfect, but it's pretty good. So I was, I don't know. I think the idea of a tongue coming out of here is kind of funny. Um, it, it could work. Let's see if we just like do kind of a funny little, uh, little design with this thing kind of coming out. Kind of funny though. I think we can make it work. Uh, it has a nice red carpet entrance, you know, like if you're going to go in, we can hold, we can hold like a llama fashion show. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so we have the entrance kind of done. I mean, I like it, dude. I'm kind of digging it, so I don't know. I'll figure it out. But um, Okay, so we have the entrance. You come in and you have the uh, the front desk here. I think we could do right here just for a little extra decoration, kind of surrounding this little barrels to change the texture up a little bit. But then like this. Yeah, looks kind of cool. There we go. And we have extra storage as well. Yeah, the barrels give it kind of a unique little design. I like that. So um, there we go. We have a front desk. Feels good. I think we're going to have to create uh, here. We can create kind of a secret escape with a lever or something like that as well in case we need to get out pretty easily. Um, that could be good. Now we need to put the staff board right here. We're going to have all the names of the staff. Uh, obviously, it's just me for now, but you know, <laughs> there will there will hopefully be more. Bang. <laughs> uh, that's the current staff of this place. Okay, so another system that I wanted to incorporate with our Llama services is our guest reputation. So basically, uh, each customer of the LOS will have a reputation level with us. Higher levels of reputation get more rewards and purchasable items at discounts. Uh, basically, I want to be able to reward uh, our legacy members who actually use our services. I want to be able to give them some unique items and things that they might not be able to get in other places, um, as well as really nice discounts and things to help out their, their Llama 
breeding process, including the possibility of tier five llamas later down the line. So our, our llama area is getting nicely furnished. We did a little bit today. Um, it's not done yet, but we are definitely ready for a meeting so that we can actually meet Sly Slime, our potential either new client or new enemy. I don't know what's going to happen. All right, you guys. So for this next part of the episode today, I would like to work on the outside landscaping area around the actual entrance uh, and add in some trees and some bushes and shrubbery, as well as a pathing as well. To make this area a bit more inviting and, uh, you know, just make it look a little bit nicer because right now it's just on the side of a mountain. So let's go ahead and add in some shrubs kind of around the entrance here, some custom trees, and then our nice little pathing design that's going to go around and lead us to the backside as well. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. So we've finished the outside path and it's looking pretty cool, pretty post-apocalyptic. We got like some rubble where the path was fully at one point fully designed with some acacia trees, which I just kind of planted. Maybe at some point we'll upgrade these trees to even like some custom ones as well. I think that'd be really cool for a future project. We can upgrade and do some, some custom tree design and uh, I'm feeling pretty happy with this though. We have a nice little area set around here for our guests to chill out. There's some little details we should definitely add as well, um, but uh, it's looking pretty cool. So the last thing that we need to do for today is uh, we need to come back here and have a look. So let's go visit our llamas really quick and see what's going on. Here's the thing. Uh, these llamas are, they're all tame. They're doing really well. Look at these guys. And I think um, we don't have any chest on them, so we should put some chest on all these llamas so we can actually see what level they are as well. And then I want to start separating the llamas based on their level. So we're going to make some kind of, we're going to divide them into their own little huts and make uh, custom llama huts as well. I think that'd be pretty dang cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to see what levels we have. And we can kind of just, uh, we might have gotten lucky. Maybe we got some level twos, maybe some level threes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and store some of this stuff. All right, let's see what kind of levels we have for the llamas. Hello, llama. And we're going to right click it and give it a chest. It might need a carpet first. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. We right click. Level one llama. So this is level one. Um, we can come back with some carpets and we can color coordinate them depending on their level. But they might all be level ones because I've been just kind of sporadically, uh, we might, you know, just kind of training them. Maybe we got a level two. As I understand, it's, it's kind of rare. It's kind of, oh, you're not tamed. Oh, but well, at least we can go through and make sure they're all tamed as well. It's apparently kind of really rare to get like the higher level llamas. So there is that, but... Uh, is this the same one? I can't tell. Are you? Oh, it is the same one. We're still trying to tame this guy. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. Love me. Oh my gosh, he's so stubborn. Maybe that's a good sign, though. Oh gosh. I know at least with horses, apparently, like, the more stubborn they are, the higher level they can be. Maybe that's just a myth. Okay, he loves me. Horse training. The advancement horse training? Ride one kilometer on a horse? What? Uh, okay. This is not a horse, but okay. Okay, game. Okay, so I have uh, carpets now. Lots of different carpets to use. We've got red, teal, uh, red, teal, gray. Also have yellow. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do, uh, for the, the level ones, I'm going to do red carpet. And then uh, we can do cyan for level twos, yellow for yellow level threes, and... Then we can go to gray eventually. So I, I think today it's only going to be red. And, it's going to be red and cyan. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's see, this guy is level one. So he gets a red carpet. Level one llama. Look at that. Nice. Color coordinating our llamas. This llama is level two. So we're going to give him a cyan. I like I like that one. Um, we could also do the blue to match that thing. But I like the cyan one. It's very festive. <laughs> it looks like he has like some uh, Christmas lights on, which is cool. Uh, that's our level two llama. It's cyan tier. We also have another level one. Yay! <laughs> all right, looks like we did it, guys. We have all of our llamas uh, and they're color coordinated. So we have the red llamas that are level one and the teal llamas, which are all level two. 
Pretty nice. Uh, so our next task is to separate them so that we can start breeding the level twos together and hopefully get our first level three. All right, so let's go ahead, guys, and we're going to go ahead and breed our first set of teal llamas and uh, make some make some of the llama babies. And maybe they'll grow up and become a tier three if we're pretty lucky. Um, I know that Logical and Slice were doing this for a really long time, um, and it just seems to go along with our, with our llama business. So let's see. Uh, we're going to do only the teals. Teal, teal, teal with teal. Uh, we'll wait for the babies to grow up, and then we'll check these ones to see if we got any tier threes. And yeah, I, I I think I'm just gonna leave them inside of this pen together. That feels like a pretty cool idea. We're still waiting for the babies to grow up. It looks like uh, I think they're still babies. Yeah, they're still babies. So we're waiting for them to grow up. And I had this idea. You know, I'm I'm trying to be a nice person here, and I remember that Pearl doesn't really have. Uh, she doesn't really have any weed down there for her for her poor llamas. She has a lot of llamas and not a lot of wheat. So I think that, you know, we're trying to make friends that we could actually go over to Pearl Guys and we can deliver to her all of these seeds. Look at all these seeds that I have. I have a, I have a few seeds and I think that she might, you know, get inspired to maybe make a little wheat farm for her little llamas. <laughs> so let's take these seeds over to Pearl. And she's not online right now, but we can definitely leave them in a in a little a little chest next to her llamas and um you know just a little gift from the lot of llama services and see what she thinks of those uh try to make friends here hey 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 get out of here get out of my base oh my gosh look at this guy in his hat ow it's a russian ushanka is that an ushanka it is an ushanka all right what the, the oh my gosh okay my base is dangerous what i need to put some torches down here apparently uh, all right, I want to get myself some uh, um, a sign, and we're gonna take this over to Pearl's base and leave it over there for her little chicken seeds. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, oh, I have more seeds, more seeds, more seeds for Pearl. All right. <clears throat> Ironically enough, you guys, uh, I actually, okay, hang on. All right, so we're, we're over at Pearl's base again. And like I said, I just got, you know, a little bit of inspiration. We decided we want to help out Pearl. Look at these poor llamas. They don't have any grass to graze on. There's no wheat in, in sight. You might have wheat somewhere. You might, but just in case, we're going to leave her a little gift. Put in these, in these seeds for her. We noticed your llamas were hungry. Lols. A lot of llama services. So there we go. So can, she can uh, now she can make a wheat farm and give her give her uh, llamas some proper food. Here, let's give her some hay bales as well. Since I have some extras, we can give her these hay bales.
All right, so there it is, guys. A gift. <laughs> we noticed your llamas were hungry. Lols. And then she has some hay bales. She has some seeds and enough seeds to start her own seed farm. Since she's potentially going to be our partner, you know, we're going to see if we can make a good impression on her. <laughs> and yay. Look at our bunkers. It's like looking back at the bunkers. But uh, guys, look at that. It looks like our base is coming together. It looks like our base is coming together. Let's see, have these little babies grown up yet? I want to check them. They're not grown up yet. Are we still going to wait for these guys to grow up though? <gasps> the baby's grown up. Yo! All right, it's time to check guys. Let's find out if we got ourselves our first level three llama. If we did, we could put a carpet, put a carpet on it. Uh, the level three is going to be the yellow carpet. So if we did get one, we'll put yellow. If not, it's going to be a cyan carpet for level two. Um, but let's have a look. So we're going to go ahead and tame these guys. This is the one. I guess it's a low chance. I don't know. We'll see. All right. He's tamed. So now we're going to put test on him and we're going to check. Level two. That's okay. It's okay. It's level two. Fine. There's more. There's still there's still more somewhere. There's one. Tame this, tame this guy. Oh, he's stubborn. Wow. Okay. That was very... That was probably the fastest I've ever tamed a llama. Uh, level two llama. Uh, there should be one more, I think. God. Oh, it would just make my day. Excuse you, sir. <laughs> He's like, what's going on here? Excuse you. Can I tame you? Please. Did I already do it? Oh, it's already done. Uh, level one. Wait, how did... Oh, how did you get level one? They can D-level? Oh, no. That's not good. Unless, unless he bred with the wrong one, which is possible. It is, it is possible. Okay, so level one, we're going to bring back the red carpet. I did not expect that. All right, level one, where'd you go? Level one, red carpet. Good though. All right, well, it looks like we did not get our uh, level three today, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and breed these guys one more time before we go. Before we head offline, and we can check them next time. So we're going to get, uh... oh, geez, um, another crafting bench. <laughs> All right, let's make ourselves some wheat. Hey, bells. Okay, and uh, let's try to breed these guys. So breed, breed. And then breed. Too far apart? Are you guys gonna... Oh no, they're too far. Maybe they'll meet one day. Um, breed, breed. I'm just gonna give them all weeds and hope that they breed. 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 These two love each other. Look at them. <laughs> oh, we did get they did breed. Nice. Okay. Um, alright, so we'll see what happens with those. Uh on the next time we'll come back and check to see if they got level three. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you guys want to catch me playing on Legacy SP live on Twitch, check me out at twitch.tv slash Nicolian. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you guys so much. Bye!